This is the Agroinversiones Islenos goat farm. It sits on 12 hectares of the capital, Maracay, in Venezuela's state of Aragua. And it's the country's biggest. I'm the one who attends the farm's need, basically food, um, food for the goats, uh, water, and everything that has to do with uh, human resources here at our enterprise. Susanna Antonorsi runs this farm at her father's side, and together they commandeer a 30-plus team of experts that are responsible for some 4% of Venezuela's market for live, reproductive and classified animals. Yes, we have um, a bit over a thousand goats. They're all uh, different ages, so we have a few that are really li little, uh, just born. Uh, here we have the ones that are in growth, the ones that are producing. We have about 200 goats right now that produce milk. Each one uh, can give us a bit over one liter or so. And with that, we have a bit over 700 uh, liters of milk produced e each week in Agroinversiones Isleñas. It's a big number in a small market but they do get some assistance from the government's social programs. What the government has helped us with is maybe giving us a, a spot in a, in a state's enterprise, which has food at the lower cost. We also need a lot of machinery. Right now the government uh, lowered all the taxes in importation of agricultural machi uh, machinery which is really, really beneficial for us. The Agroinversiones Islenos goat farm also hopes to reach further into Venezuela to open the market and increase production. It's already the largest project of its kind in Latin America, but a financial push could see it contribute significantly to the export market, turning social program assistance into a viable and growing export industry. Regan Devines, Maracay, Telesur, Inglés.